Now let's listen in uh, just a moment ago. We had earlier we had uh, Brian Patty talking to Juan Pablo Montoya. Oh, Montoya backs it down. We got a car way up on the wall. That is the zero car. A oh, heavy, heavy impact for Eric McClure. Good to see that wind net coming that down. Like it, you know okay. what? Yeah, we when we turned around to look over Flip there, he was over, up on top of the wall. Well, a heavy impact uh, up in that safer barrier area between turns three and four. Eric McClure's car got all the way up on its side. And fortunately, the window net down. That is the uh, sign that the drivers are told in the driver's meeting. If you are awake and okay, drop that window net down to let the safety crews know. It's always a good sign when you see that window net come down after a hard wreck like this. Oh, look at this. Backwards wow. already up on the wall. Wow. <laughs> I bet he's glad that's a safer barrier instead of concrete. <laughs> Almost Probably. tipped over there. Yeah, this is uh, going into these corners again. You're you're running over 150 miles an hour, so the impact and, and for some reason with this banking, as we've changed that uh, over the years here, we've seen as cars hit these walls a lot of times uh, that they will get up in the air. Nothing quite that severe, but uh, I don't know exactly what it is about the way the wall is and, and the banking uh, that can create a situation like that. But it's nice to see he's okay. Now, yesterday in practice, Eric McClure also had a problem in the primary car that he had hoped to run here for the weekend. The Johnny Davis machine in the practice session found the wall, and the car just snaps around and uh, comes into contact with the wall in between turns one and two, and it was so heavily damaged, they had to roll the backup car out. The car that uh, you just saw a moment ago had the impact in the other end of the racetrack. Yeah, this is a tough weekend for these guys all the way around. You never like to lose a car, but you hate losing two of them. That car is fast. It is fast. Oh, oh trouble. heavy contact. Clawson involved. McClure is there in the 24 car. Brian Clawson. 24 right in front of us. Ooh, that's a big wreck right there for Brian Clawson. A lot of damage. 24 car, Eric McClure. Heavy contact for both these drivers. Six laps to go, and now yellow for the seventh that. time. That was. I couldn't control that. We're gonna have a lot of debris to clean up right here too. This is a, it's a pretty big wreck. A lot of cars involved. Dale Jr. just came by and he's got damage from that also. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the five car also damaged and you see uh, right side at his fender. In front of that car buckled up. Hood is buckled up on the right side. Show you what happened here just a moment ago involving uh, the 41 and 24 out of the corner. See, it looks like Dale Jr. got underneath Eric McClure in that 24 car. Whoa, wow. big, big crash. Well, Jr. just looking for some room around these guys. Man, look at the debris flying off these cars. Wow. Fix that 24 completely up off the ground. Right along with Dale Jr. We'll see what he saw as he tried to make a move underneath the 24. Okay, hold her down here, bud. Hold her down. Got some fender damage. Mike Wallace from behind this. 16 is there inside. Bottom, come to the bottom, come to the bottom, come to the bottom. Come to the bottom, there you go, keep coming, good job. The 24 car of Eric McClure sideways and right up in front of the 41 and the youngster Brian Clawson having nowhere to go just tags him hard. McClure's car airborne and the back of the car into the wall. This is not the first time that the young Abington Virginia driver Eric McClure has had a highlight here in the late lap. I am Eric McClure. Well, the most exciting moment we had, obviously, was the accident in New Hampshire. Oh, look at this. We got a car way up on the wall. The first time in my life I was on Sports Center, and I was really happy about it. This is Sports Center. Okay, bad driving by you. Your uh, your license is revoked. After that, we kind of had a cult following of notoriety uh, for the hefty brand and for Eric McClure. Hey, that hurt like a you know what. You're never excited about wrecking, but uh, that was one positive that came out of it. Look at him. Surfing on the side of the wall, backwards. The next time I see myself in Sports Center, I hope I'm winning a race. I am Eric McClure. 
He just spot in the field. He'll be fine. Got a big crash out of turn four, guys. Another caution involving uh, several cars. Eric McClure's in this one. Also, it looked like uh, maybe the 23 of Richardson might have got a slight piece of it. And Eric was sick this morning. He thought he was going to have to have uh, Mark Green drive the car. This team with Renzi Brothers as owners, Hefty's coming back. They're coming back next year. We're really excited. They didn't need this, that's for sure. Yeah, we've got some debris all over the track, uh, literally from uh, the high side down to where you see Eric's car. And there they're stopping the cars to make sure. And it was hard contact with that uh, turn four wall. And we are under a red flag situation. Here's what happened. Kenny might have had a flat up top. That could have been. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, he actually oh, blows Kenny's left rear out. Yep. Somebody got into McClure. Can't tell who it was. Boy, he went hard into the wall. Safer barrier right there. I still didn't see the number there, guys. I got to be honest uh, on who got into it. Black it was, car right there. Either 92 or 29. You know, take a look at the 28 a little while ago. I don't, I think if you get the tires back in that car, it's okay. It doesn't look like it really hurt anything. It hit the left rear tire, blew it out, spun them around, and they all start crashing behind them. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm concerned about Eric McClure because that was straight into the wall. And uh, think well, good thoughts, folks, because the safety crew is down there working to extricate him from the car, and there they are gently taking him out. And... Uh, Sometimes, Eric obviously is conscious. Yes, well, when, when you when you hit the wall head on, you got your left foot on the brake pretty hard, and then sometimes it breaks an ankle. Well, we won't speculate on what the injuries are, but it, it's obvious he needs support. So uh, we'll wait for the official word from medical officials. And they just announced to the crowd that Eric was out, and that's the, the cheer that you heard. Under a red flag situation here at Memphis Motorsports Park, we can tell you that the ambulance uh, has just taken Eric McClure to the infield medical care unit. A rough day for him. He started the, the day sick, and he ends the day in the ambulance. Take another look. We've determined it is the 96 of Michael McDowell that gets into him right side of your screen. Well, something happened there with, with Kenny. He slowed up. I think the 24 lifted a little bit, got hit from behind, hit that safer barrier head on. Luckily, it was that Safer Barry. That, that, that's one of the greatest inventions ever in this sport. Okay, the Safer Barry. Let's watch this one more time. Here he gets touched from behind, blows the left rear out of Kenny, slides across and left front hard, and the Safer Barry spins him around. And boy, that was a hard lick, but thank gosh that that soft wall, Safer Barry, or whatever you want to call it, was right there because that really, you know, when they put this thing out, Marty, I mean, it took about 40% of the blow out of your body compared to hitting a regular concrete great wall. Kudos to NASCAR for doing this. It's been a, a really cool safety feature, that's for sure. And we do have an update on Eric McClure. Rick, what's the word? And it is good news about Eric McClure. Just talked with the NASCAR officials that Eric is fine. He's going to have to follow up, talking with his family physician. Hopefully everything's okay there. But the important thing is, especially when we saw how hard that hit was, that according to a NASCAR official, Eric is fine. Back here. All right. Well, that is great news. And uh, we will send our best along to he and the family because uh, that was a tough lick. Uh, let's check in on uh, Eric McClure. There he is. Let's talk to him, Rick. And good news, Eric McClure released from the medical center. Let's talk about how are you feeling right now? What kind of damage? I'm a little bit sore. I'm okay. Uh, the safety equipment at, at, at NASCAR has got, got going on, and the Team Rincey team was, was good. It really did its job. A little bit sore, but I think I'll be okay. You were saying you didn't think you could hit the, ho the wall that hard and get fast enough to hit it that hard here. No, I really didn't. It looks like you're going so slow out there. Um, you know, we struggled today. We had just put on our set of tires for the race, um, and we were up there running with some good guys, having a lot of fun. Um, and there was a couple of guys bounced off of each other, and we just had to get out of the gas just a little bit and got hit from behind. But uh, I definitely hit the wall hard. Um, but, you know, there, there are worse things in life. But want to say hey to Miranda back home. It's her birthday. Sorry I can't be there. And uh, we'll go home, take the kids to Disney this week, and uh, we'll come back to Texas. All right. Once again, Eric McClure looking at that hard hit. Not doing bad.
He's not leading right now, but here they come again. Because Sorensen had to make the switch here at the Subway. Jalapeno 250 at Daytona. And look out, the 14 of Eric McClure has tagged the wall and is skating across the infield. That is down in the turn one area. And big our break for Boyer. third caution comes out and Clint Boyer will finally get the lucky dog. So the 33 will get back on the lead lap. The 14 of McClure was 23rd at the time of this deal. That's Mike Bliss pushing him. Oh, oh man. Oh, that was a hard lick right there. Yeah, misjudged just a little bit. It only takes that little bit to create a bad accident. A lot of damage, and the window net is not down on Eric's car. So let's just stay here and hope that he is A-OK. -okay. Now, I see him reaching for it now. That's that's good news. That's that's good. That's a hard angle. Though. He's fine, Mike. I can't hear what you're saying, but he's fine. Yeah, nothing deliberate there by any stretch of the imagination. No, at 190 miles an hour, trying to make that calculation and, you know, know exactly where your front end is, it can be difficult, but it only takes those few inches to create a situation just like that. Several cars stayed out, including the 60, the 1, the 66, and the 62. And there's Eric McClure. He's in good shape heading to the ambulance, and that's a good sign. Now let's go back and uh, want to update you on Eric McClure's situation. This was an extremely hard lick as the 19 just touches him in the wrong spot, sends him into the wall. We saw him walk to the ambulance, but doctors at the infield care center have decided to send him over to Halifax Medical Center as a precautionary move for a little further evaluation. And there you see him as he did make his way to the ambulance. We'll get an update if we can before we sign off tonight. Driver change during the caution as well, Mike. Yeah, Eric McClure, Alan, suffering from flu-like symptoms. You know how bad that is uh, with a normal job. Imagine being behind the wheel at close to 200 miles per hour in very hot temperatures. Well, he got out of the race car, and he'll be uh, replaced by Jeff Green for the remainder of the race. I spoke with Eric briefly. He said he's sick to his stomach right now, Alan. All right, thanks, Mike. Jeff Green actually ran a couple practice laps in that 14 car earlier this morning in the practice session they had here. So this is not completely unfamiliar territory for Jeff and the race team. that began at the front of the pack, jockeying for position to race for the win, ends with some heavily damaged cars scattered across turn three. Taylor Balsam. That's a vicious hit by Eric McClure there. Yes, it was. Robert Richardson, 23. As the work continues at the accident scene over in turn number three. So the red flag is out in the middle of the first attempt at a green white checkered finish, a multi car accident over in turn number three at the end of the back stretch. Austin Dillon's car with damage. But the bulk of the concern remains focused around the Eric McClure car. 
after the hard hard crash he took to that inside wall. The safety workers there well trained and uh, doing their doing their job and of course any update that we get will pass along to you as soon as possible. That's part of these safety teams have done such a tremendous job over the years of getting ideas of how to handle these situations better. They got great equipment too. Yeah. They can cut that roof off the car so if he is injured they can get him out without causing any more injury. There are the eight drivers involved in the accident. All of those drivers have either driven their cars away, as in the case of Patrick and uh, Keselowski, or climbed from their machines if they were unable to continue, except the Eric McClure machine, which you see the work continuing around. So while they continue to work that scene over there in turn number three, and we continue to show concern and watch the situation and, and pay attention. Andy, you've been a crew chief, you've been a team owner. This from NASCAR, they, they report to us that Eric McClure has been talking to the medical staff over at the accident scene. So that is Let's certainly the roof back too, so. a good bit of news. And a lot better access to Eric now. That in itself, the fact that they would peel the roof back is, is simply to give the safety workers more room to maneuver and in any kind of a situation. I mean, he took a hard hit to that inside wall. There would be stabilizing of his spine and neck to try and take him out of that car straight up and make sure that there are no injuries or further injuries in that area. But again, NASCAR just uh, informing us that McClure is talking or has talked to the medical workers over there in turn number three. It's just so much less risky by taking that roof, peeling it back, even though they probably don't know uh, the extent of any injuries here, but that just it's so much less risky to pull any driver out of the car without having to come through that small window. I and mean, these window openings are fairly small. And we talk all the time about the safety of these new cars, uh, everything that, that's involved as far as the Hans device and uh, the shoulder harness, the seat belts, everything that, that the drivers now have uh, inside of these cars. But you still have to realize you're traveling well over 170 miles an hour at this racetrack. Doc, you're well familiar with the medical procedures and all of the safety work that goes on in this situation. Unfortunately, I am, Alan, and uh, you explained it very well. I mean, they typically want to be very, very deliberate and take their time. You want to get the roof of the car off so you can get to the driver and stabilize the neck and spine. Great to hear the news that you had reported a moment ago that uh, Eric McClure had spoken uh, with the NASCAR and the safety people at the scene. I spoke to uh, Wes Ward, the crew chief for Eric McClure, a moment ago as he was walking or headed that way, and Wes said none of the crew, him, none of the crew had heard anything on the radio, and they surmised the radio wires probably snapped or were torn with that violent impact so they were very concerned and glad to hear that Eric is communicating now uh, again very very deliberate these NASCAR safety people you see working on the car here train almost once a week in fact one of the training sites is right here at Talladega off the back straightaway they get cars that and they cut the roofs off they practice taking drivers out on a backboard strapping them down uh, providing every delicate touch they can to get them out of the car to do no harm part of getting them evaluated that's exactly what they're doing right now with Eric McClure all right, Doc, thanks. And we continue to 
monitor the scene over inside turn number three as this race sits under the red flag just joining us a multi-car accident on the back straightaway as the race had just restarted for a green white checker two lap sprint to the finish Con There you see the work continuing over inside of turn number three. All right, here we'll also have a here separate okay, guys. Uh, come out so far. All right, so the least of all here probably. And Eric McClure uh, being assisted from that race car. Eric has had his share of uh, tough breaks. It was a year ago last week that his home and many in his hometown in southwestern Virginia were damaged by a series of tornadoes that came through. Of course, his family with a long history in racing, the Morgan McClure racing team with much success here at Talladega, Daytona 500 wins, so on. And again, we'll continue to provide you any update we're able to on McClure's condition as soon as we possibly can. It's going to take a little while now to clean up all this mess on the back straightaway before they can take the red flag off. See the rollbacks going to pick up all the cars. All right, so with respect to the fact that we only have very preliminary word about the condition of Eric McClure. We want to go back and take one look at what happened that set off this multi-car accident headed to turn three on the back straightaway. So it looked like a net had made a move to try to go up the middle. So it looked like he was getting a push and he was going to try to, to make this happen. That hole closed up. As you can see, as Kyle Busch went over, Brad Keselowski tried to go over. It was Joey Logano that was behind the net. Yeah, it's like I said, everybody's trying to go to the front, and those holes close up so quickly. You can see the safer barrier deflect tremendously when Eric McClure hit it. Thank God it was there. Yes. You can see just past this, there is no safer barrier. McClure is going to be transported to the University of Alabama Birmingham Medical Center for further treatment. And again, any update that we have, we will pass along as soon as possible. So we continue to monitor the situation. Any information we have, we provide it as soon as possible. And we still have to finish the race here at Talladega. We're coming back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. The NASCAR Nationwide Series race at Talladega Super Speedway is under the red flag after a multi-car accident. Headed toward turn number three, damaging several cars and damaging the safer barrier as well. After a heavy impact to that barrier, involving a couple of drivers, including Eric McClure, who has been assisted from his car and is going to be transported to a hospital in Birmingham for further evaluation and treatment. We continue to monitor and we'll provide you any information as soon as we possibly can. So we still have to finish the race. And while 
we remain concerned about Eric McClure, they're going to finish the race. And if you are a driver, Dale, you've been in this situation before. You're sitting down there strapped in one of those race cars. You might have seen the replay on the big screen, or you might have seen it in front of you out your windshield. And now you're going to go back racing again, bumper to bumper, door to door at 190 miles an hour. The last update we have from NASCAR is that Eric McClure is being transported to the UAB Birmingham Medical Center for further evaluation and treatment. That's the last update that uh, we have. Our concerns with him, our congratulations to Joey Logano. World news or local news, except on the West Coast, coming up next. Thanks for watching ESPN on ABC. this battle caution out just as we were watching this one between dylan and jones there's a car over here the 24 car we hear the crews talking on the radios eric mcclure it's going to be less than 20 to go when we get back to green one more restart yeah certainly ryan blaney didn't want to see that caution he jumped out and had a had a nice lead but this is going to get young Matt Tipton an opportunity on a restart. See what he can do from the inside of Ryan Blaney. See if he can somehow wrestle the lead away. Nothing. It's like there was some racing side by side going on, and Eric McClure got sideways and couldn't correct it and into the outside wall. Might have been the 90 car that he was battling there, Martin Roy. They still have not been able to get McClure's car out of the way yet. Drivers won in their Xfinity Series debut, but all five had competed in Cup before that. Not so for the 20. No, he might have competed in some kind of Cup, but it exactly. wasn't the Sprint Cup that we were talking about. Well, he has run some of the Truck Series. Good to see Eric McClure out of the car. It's a little days though. Yeah, sometimes we take that for granted when we see him just what we think is a slow slide and back into the wall is still at a high rate of speed, but good to see Eric out. 